Hi, welcome to another oh, edition of <laughs> Annie's Hot Takes. Uh, today we will be reviewing the Astro Militarum section of the Psychic Awakening, Not The Greater Good book. This isn't the Magnet? No, this isn't, this isn't the magnet play out. Boy, should we record that whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I no. So I'm Danny. Today I'm joined by my co-host Dave and special guest Hooray. John. Hi. Yep, John is here with us today for once, which is awesome. It's, it's not for once. We, me so, and John did a great review that was so highly bitchy. lauded while you were <laughs> it was, gone. It was oh, I'm sure. Something. Yeah, I'm sure people I people love that, that, right? Stop that. Oh yeah, fair. All right, so we're not again. We're not going to be checking out the fluff section of this book. We're only going to be looking at the rules for Astra Militarum. Um, man, there's some cool stuff in here, though. I am hyped <laughs> for these guys too. God, what a, you seem so hyped. I am hyped. I am. I am. This book is not as good as Grey Knights, though, right? Oh man, yeah, probably. To me, like that book met all the things. It had three armies that I was very interested in. This is like armies that I have peripheral interest in, but at the same time. I love them because I love the rules because they're so much fun, especially the Scion rules. I cannot wait to go over those. Those are so cool. <clears throat> All right. All right. So uh, starting with Astro Militarum, um, we have the Astro Militarum uh, name generator. How about four different tables for four what? different regiments? Guys, what the heck? I know. Uh, again, the name generator at the beginning. So whoever wrote the name generators, like there's one guy at GW who just. <laughs> He is name generator manager. That, yeah, that's super so, proud of his work on this book. He yeah. was so pissed they were at the back, and then we mocked, loosely mocked them on every <laughs> review he did. He was like, we're, put it in the front. Put it in the front, or I walk. Yeah, right. And then like, somebody's like, Fine, these are the gonna, best things we're putting I, in these Psychic just, Awakening books. So. Just, come on. Um, so, uh, Hammer of the Imperium goes over the Astro Militarum stuff. We've got... Uh, name generator, we've got regimental doctrines for pick your own regiment. I like these. Again, I'm really happy that more armies are getting those. We have tank aces, bringing back a really cool concept that was something that they had before, but now they have again. For awesome. Real. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Uh, some more stratagems. And then finally, five pages of new Ast uh, Order of Tempestus rules. So, so another mini codex. Dude, mini but decks this, is a, this is like... A full mini decks like that's a it has lots of stratagems, lots of warlord traits. It has six new uh, Ordo Tempestus regiments that you can choose from. So cool! All right, so what uh, what regiment would you guys say you're from? Are you a Cadian, a Catachin, of a Holland, or of a Stroyan? Oh, I'm a Catachin for sure. Catachin. What are you? I would say Valhalla is the okay, Scottish cool. thing. It's snow and shitty. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, All right, so Dave, you pick your number. Uh, twenty one. Dave, your Catachin name, and this is for a trooper, is Storm. My favorite one... Isn't that an American gladiator? <laughs> also an X-Men. Uh, oh. I like 53 Ice Creek. Ice, in quotation marks, Creek. His name is Creek. Whatever. Cool. Nice. Or Steeljaw. John, what's your number? Um, 16. 16. Gorska. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sounds drunk. Trooper Gorska. Yep. So a lot of fun there. Definitely check those out. Good times naming your guys there. All right. So we've got new regimental doctrines. Again, you get to pick two, take the ones you want, drop the ones you don't. All right. Yep. So we've got gunner. So a lot of these are half of one of the existing Imperial Guard uh, regiment rules. Oh, so you, so you basically can kind of pick and pick you, and choose. You the can best be one. a little bit of Catachin, a little bit of Cadian. It's really similar all to how the successor uh, tactics work, right? Yes. Nice. All right. So you've got gunnery experts. So this is when you roll to determine the type characteristics of any weapon on a vehicle with this doctrine. We roll one of the dice. So that's like part of the Catachin mm -hmm. uh, rules, which is pretty good. Nice. Uh, spotter details. Add six inches to the range characteristics of heavy weapons with a range of at least 24 inches that this models of this doctrine are equipped with. That's pretty good. That's kind of like the Vostroyan one. You've got disciplined shooters. Um, this lets you rapid fire at 18 inches rather than at 12 inches. It's um, That's pretty cool. So good. Uh, I mean, that's kind of like what uh, Sea Legion has right now. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. Uh, but that's yeah, that's great. That's a lot of that's a lot of that's gunshots. It's a lot of flashlights. But it pairs um, well with the next one. Uh, like, fire really from the well. hip. Yeah. Um, you can advance and shoot rapid fire weapons, but you're minus one hit. So that's like the Talarn one. That's pretty cool. So yeah. you can advance and I shoot mean, rapid fire at eighteen. That's pretty cool. Just if you run lots of guardsmen. 
Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, you've got combined aspects. This lets you Overwatch uh, with vehicle units on a five plus, with if, as long as they're within three inches of another vehicle. Which, um, so yeah, this is from the Mordian Guard. There's three tank commanders yep. hanging out at the back of the field. Heck yeah! Yeah, Overwatch on fives, baby. And then you can expert gunner this. Uh, it's a force, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you've got agile warriors. You can reroll advance with infantry units. Yeah, not bad. No, that's all right. Uh, especially because Guardsmen advance so much with, like, move, move, move and things like that. Yeah. Um, that's a pretty powerful ability. Uh, you've got Pyromaniacs. Uh, if you make an attack with a Flamer, Heavy Flamer, or Twin Heavy Flamer, you can reroll two and rolls of one. Yeah, it's okay. If you have a lot of that stuff, that's kind of I mean, cool. it auto-hits, so it's... A lot of hell yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah. Wilderness Survivors. Um, so this, if you uh, didn't advance, you get the benefit of cover. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I like that one. That makes your infantry squad a lot tougher. You don't have to hang out and train yeah, it if is. you don't want to. A little bit of engineers. Yep. Yeah. Uh, jury rig repairs. Yeah, those. That's it's good for engineers for sure. Uh, jury rig repairs is. Uh, Point John. <laughs> uh, at the end of at the start of your turn, roll a d6 for each vehicle. On a two through four, they regain one. On a five up, they get d3 back. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Lord's approval. So this one's interesting. When resolving an attack made by a melee weapon by a regiment infantry model with this doctrine, while it's within nine inches of a regiment officer model, improve the AP characteristic by one. So as long as you're huh. within nine inches of an officer, all your guys get an extra AP on their close combat attacks. I think so that's it, cool. It takes it to AP one yeah. unless you got something special. Like on their bayonets, which yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, monster hunters. Uh, whenever you make an attack with a heavy weapon by a model with this doctrine against a monster unit. If you roll it to if you roll a twin roll of six, you inflict one mortal wound on the target in addition to other damage. That's cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And then finally, you have slum fighters. When uh, resolving an attack made by a melee weapon with an infantry model with this doctrine, a modified hit roll of six scores one additional hit. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's a lot of attacks. So if you combo these two up, that's pretty pretty powerful. It's a lot of extra oh man, hits. yeah. Um, so uh, these are all really interesting. I don't know that any of them supplant the current regiment rules. I'm glad that they're giving uh, you the ability to build kind of your own regiment because Astro Militarum are so diverse. My only complaint, I wish that there were some more of these. Like Eldar did get like two pages of new ones, and I think Astro Militarum are way more diverse than Eldar, so it would have been cool well, to see a little bit more stuff. They, they got craft rolled, so it was broken up by, uh, in the other uh, Psychic Awakening Eldar, um, Rise of the Phoenix. Um, mm -hmm. Phoenix Rising, or yeah. whatever it is. The. They were broken up by cults, by humunculi, and whatnot. So they're broken up. So I think they had about Eldar. the same. Well, uh, for, for Craft Worlds, they had like two whole pages of extra traits. They had like eighteen, and this is like, uh, what is this like, twelve? Yeah. All right. It would have been nice to have another six to choose from. Um, yeah, but but I'm not really complaining. Like I think it's cool that they're giving you the ability to customize a regiment. I think that's really great. Well, uh, as you will see later, you can customize other stuff though. So for I mean, sure, it's, I think it's kind of balances out as to what you can actually. But do. like, I would, I would probably, to me, probably never take these over one of the regiments that already exist because I think those yeah, rules are. Better. I think if you were going to do like a separate detachment, then you really wanted to have monster hunters and slum fighters together, you know, then it it could be really good. Yeah, uh, I, I hear, I hear what you're saying. All right. Um, so yeah, I think these are really solid. Uh, or I mean, they're 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 decent. Like yeah. I, I think that you can you you might see some play with them, but it's going to take a very specialized attachment to take. Yeah, full they're they're probably them. definitely going to see a lot more for people's customs when they're playing uh, more garage hammer style than actual true tournament mm -hmm. style. Like sure. if you know that your buddy runs mm -hmm. Tyranids, and he's bringing tons of big bugs because Tyranids are back, you know you can definitely do a monster hunter slum fighter. Uh, combo. Oh you know man, I mean? only the scummiest players tailor their list against their opponent. I don't know. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I'm shit talking to you. The guy who does that, you. by the way. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, buddy. All right. Um, so tank aces. This section is super cool. I'm really glad to see this uh, back. A lot of game. people are really excited about this. So uh, if you have an Astro Militarum character as your warlord, instead of a warlord trait, you can pick a tank. Pick one of your vehicles to get tank ace. Or, and or, you can pay one CP for the stratagem to have an extra tank ace. Now, you can't have one guy with two traits, but you can have two guys with two of the same trait if you so desire. Um, so there's some really cool ones, and they're broken up by Lehman Russ, Support Aces, and Super Heavy Aces. So uh, Lehman Russ ones, uh, uh, or so the Support Aces are Basilisk, Wyvern, Hydra, Manticore, Deathstrike. 
and super heavies is any vehicle with the titanic keyword. Um, so let's go over main battle tank aces. So you have master mechanic, uh, they suffer minus one damage. That's great. That's pretty I mean, that's good. very good. Yeah. Um, slow and purposeful. If you don't move half, if you move half your move, reroll ones to wound. Also really good. Because mm -hmm. you want to move that slow anyway because you want to shoot your turret weapon twice. Yeah. Um, then you have weapons expert. Um, improve the armor penetration of any turret weapons by one. So this is amazing with things like the Relic Battle Cannon. I was going to say, that's already got something super powerful. So it? It, that'll be AP minus three on that bad boy. That's nice. pretty good. Yeah. Uh, then you have Armored Rush. Um, in your shooting phase, you can shoot with turret weapons even if you advance. Cool. Pretty yeah. good. Up Armored, you get a two-up save characteristic. Also really good. And then finally, you have Steel Commander, and this lets you extra issue an extra tank order, which is the same as you would get with Pask. Yeah. Typically, you probably don't need that one. But that's probably the weakest one of all of them. But I can really see... Uh, actually, I can see, honestly... Uh, and I can see up armored weapons experts, slow and purposeful, and master mechanic all being ones that people take for sure. Yeah, those they, are all really they, good. So, they all seem very good. Minus one damage is very good for for defense. Um, slow and purposeful is good for just being able to just reroll ones to wound is very good, and then also uh, weapons expert is very powerful, especially if you have something like uh, uh, like the Gatling cannon. Oh yeah, getting AP minus one on that is a bit is a big diff. Super good. Yep. Uh, so then you have support aces. Um, uh, so I like full payload. Uh, you don't roll for damage on the damage characteristic of weapons with him. You just auto have max damage. Yeah, that's that is gross, dude. Yeah, disgusting. So I like this one on a Manticore because oh. then your three flat damage on two d six shots. That's pretty good. Yeah, no, that's disgusting. <laughs> uh, then you've got a uh, Shatterer of Wills. Like, I just oh, want to say that I really like that they included Death Strike. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. I mean, it doesn't do anything for this one, but it's great for well-stocked magazines. Right. I'm just... I, and spoilers. I love Death Strike. Yeah, spoilers. Yeah. We'll get to that one. So, Shatter of Wills. Um, after you resolved all the attacks by the model, select an enemy unit that you hit against. They suffer minus two leadership. So, good for picking off those units that you can't quite kill, like Marines in cover or something like that. Uh, with a Wyvern. That's not bad. Yeah. No, that's good. Um, then you have well-stocked magazines. Uh, you can re-roll any of the dice for the type characteristic. So that's pretty cool, especially with a Death Strike that's like 3d6 shots. You could reroll any of those 3d6. It's not bad for that. Um, I think full payload is going to be the one that people take the most because that's the most obvious choice, I feel it like. like two, two of those on an on indirect fire weapon that does oh, yeah, and just making it max damage. Oh, is, yeah. That's sick. It's very good. Uh, then you've got Super Heavy Aces. Uh, so you have Inspiring Might. Uh, roll an extra d6 on leadership checks. Uh, that one's uh, and and drop the drop the highest score for your infantry units that are close by. That's yeah, all right. right. It's mm -hmm. okay. Um, hold down deployment until you move. You get cover. That's, <laughs> that's powerful uh, because you can yeah. combine that with uh, uh, night shield or whatever the uh, uh, or psychic barrier. Sorry, psychic barrier gives a uh, one one of your units a plus one save, so you can get a one plus save on your super heavy. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Um, Steadfast Leviathan is also very good, and this is probably the one that I'll see, the, that I feel like I'll see the most. Ooh. You get regiment bonuses, even if you're in a super heavy auxiliary detachment. That's... Halo and Bane Blade. Yep, totally. Or Shadow oh, Sword. Yeah. Pretty good. Wow, okay. Yeah, no, I like that a lot. Uh, so Astromel Terran get 14 new stratagems. Um, there's some pretty good ones in here. Uh, so, we're just going to go through them all, because they're cool. Alright, so you've got Relentless. Uh, this is, uh, you pick a vehicle model, except a Titanic unit that has a damage table. Uh, you get to use top row bracket, which is really good. Make sure your tank is firing at full ballistic skill, uh, when you need it to. Yeah, that's what, when your Shadow Sword finally gets to unload on Can use it on Titanic. Yep. Oh! Sorry, Dave. Uh, so then you have Direct <laughs> Onslaught. Uh, this one's really solid for 1 CP. Um, you get to, uh, get plus 1 to hit on... Uh, a wyvern or a manticore on its main gun. That's really good. When combined with that support ace, full Hell payload. Heck yeah! For uh, 2d6 shots, uh, strength 10, minus 2 AP, plus 1 to hit. So it's hitting on 3s. If you're Cadian, you get to reroll 1s to hit. If you don't move, which you Yikes. shouldn't move. Yeah, you wouldn't be, want to be moving anyway. Yep. Um, then you have Experienced Eye. I thought this was cool that they gave veterans a stratagem. 
um, you get minus one AP on all their weapons. I think that's actually really cool too. There's some really cool plays there, especially since veterans can take three special weapons, like three uh, grenade launchers or three melta guns or three plasma guns. Getting AP minus four on some of those weapons, on the plasma guns specifically, is kind of cool. Uh, then you've got Furious Charge. Uh, when an Ogren unit, so this includes Bulgrins, uh, finishes a charge move, pick an enemy unit within one inch. On a four plus, they take one mortal wound. Um, so this is kind of like the uh, uh, this is kind of like the stratagem from Tau. In fact, it has the same name. Um, yep. uh, but it's on a four plus instead of a three plus. And that's what exactly what Bulgrins needed to get into close combat. Is yeah, to they want to deal, get close deal extra damage and stuff. Uh, we did go over splash damage on the GW preview page, so I won't go over that. Uh, but that's a good one too. Uh, uh, then you've got concentrated fire. Uh, so you get to pick a heavy weapon squad. Um, if they target, uh, if, if they sh all shoot the same, uh, unit, you get plus one to hit, plus one to wound. That plus one to wound, that's, that's spicy, man. Uh, that's super oh, no, spicy. last cannon heavy weapon squad. Yeah, which you can take six last cannons in. So you're wounding knights on twos? Twos. Hmm. I mean, it's also good on mortar squads. Sure. You know? Yeah, yeah. And mortar squads it's good on, for sure. So pretty solid. Uh, then you've got, uh, th I like this one. Uh, I think they previewed this one, but I wanted to talk about it a little bit. Uh, this is called Strike First, Strike Hard. Um, so this is for an Armored Sentinel or Scout Sentinel unit. Um, you get plus two to hit on their attacks in the first battle. That's really good. Nice. Heck yeah. Especially if you take something like Plasma Cannons on your uh, uh, oh. on your Armored Sentinels. So you could take, I think you could take six Sentinels in a unit. <coughs> can you take, uh, six, I think you can at least take three. Either, it's, it's either three or six. It's either six, three or yeah. six. Um, but anyway, so getting uh, like plus two to hit means you can't overheat. So oh, you man. Just shoot all of their plasma cannons, hitting oh, on twos. Uh, overcharged? Yeah. yeah. And if they're Cadians, you're rerolling ones if they don't move. That's pretty cool. I mean, you're probably moving, though, right? Probably not if I'm Cadians. Yeah. Probably just going to sit there and take hits, because there's also one, what? another stratagem, four armored sentinels that we'll talk about in a moment. Ooh. Uh, then you have Shield of Flesh. We, they, they did preview this one on the GW community site. Um... Uh, this is pretty cool for Bulgrins. Uh, this is interesting in that it doesn't specify uh, Astro Militaire units are minus one to hit, so it will affect allies. So things like Custodes or Space Marines or something that you're blocking for. Um, that's kind of cool. That's pretty powerful. Um, Hail of Fire. This one is this one is money. I think this is maybe one of the best ones. I don't know. Uh, TCP. If you shoot a Lehman Rust unit, don't roll variable type. Just do auto max shots. If you shoot a vehicle unit. Yeah, that's money. So if you take Hammer of Sundrance, for instance, the Relic Battle Cannon on a, on a tank, you can get 12 shots. Or how about just a Lehman Rust Demolisher? Yikes. So you get auto 12 shots on that on that bad boy with strength 10. It's so good. Uh, yeah, D6 damage. I think that's pretty good. Um, uh, then you have Rolling Death. Uh, pick a Taurox model uh, in your army until the end of the turn. As long as you didn't, as long as you moved half, you get plus one to hit. So this is cool in that you can take Torox Primes and use this, and then you'll oh, yeah, be hitting on twos. It doesn't specify. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, head first. If you disembark from a Chimera, you get plus two inches to your charge. So this is cool, um, especially for the veteran specialist attachment that's out right now, where you can move. You can spend a CP for a Strat to move the Chimera. Uh, and disembark after. Um, and then you can use this to just get into combat, which is pretty cool. Nice. Like, that's that's kind of cool. Especially if they're Catachins or something. Where they get a bunch of attacks. Uh, Master of Ordnance. Um, this makes your artillery barrage auto six instead of rolling. So right. that's like a six shot basilisk automatically. Pretty cool. That you also have given tank commander stuff to to max damage. Uh, no, this is for a Master of Ordnance. That's a dude. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he gets... All right, and we're back here. Uh, let's talk about the next stratagem. We've got Death Maneuvering, guys. Uh, so this is the Armored Sentinel stratagem that I alluded to before. This lets you have damage to your Armored Sentinel unit. That's, that's super good. Wow. Isn't that cool? I think that's not bad. It's basically for a unit, because if you have yeah, six for a, guys... For a unit. Right. Ooh. I think that's pretty awesome. That seems like a lot. The final one that we have here is Psychic Conclave. Psychic Conclave, you pick a unit of Weird Vein Psychers and a, and a Primaris Psyker within six inches of them. 
and you get plus two to, to psychic tests for both units, and one of them can cast an extra power. Oh, so and like that's a, like actually really powerful. I think and, that's really good. And super fluffy with the yeah. psychic oh, awakening. Sure. A weird little conclave. Like a... The weird little conclave? Yeah. yeah. You don't see them very often. No. No. So I think that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. All right. So next we have the Ordo Tempestus. The surprise of the book. Right. And yeah. I was totally blown away by this. I was like, wow, okay, cool. This is actually really cool stuff. Um, so if your entire regiment is uh, military and Tempestus, excluding your advisors and auxilia, um, you can, you get, you can pick, uh, you get a new Tempestus regiment keyword. Um, and then you can pick one of these ones, or you can just keep stormtroopers if you want to. So, Tech Priest Inges here. He doesn't count against you. No, but I mean, I thought that was an Admech model. No, nope. no, he's in the Imperial Guard book as well. Is he? Yeah, okay. he's. In the, I think he's an Elite Choice. All right. So, uh, Military and Tempestus uh, Regiment Doctrines. So you have Stormtroopers, which is your typical. Uh, if you're within half range, six is to hit count as an extra. Uh, you get an extra shot. Um, Death from the Dark, the 54th Scion Jackals. Each model destroyed by an attack made by a model with this doctrine in your shooting phase counts as two destroyed models for in the morale phase. Not okay. bad? No, not bad at all. Uh, predatory Strikes, the 32nd uh, Thetoid Eagles. Um, this is when resolving an attack with a ranged weapon made by, this, made by a model with this doctrine against a unit that is within half range, an unmodified six scores one additional hit. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. Then you have the 133rd Lambdian Lions, or Lambdian Lions. Uh, this gives you minus one AP to all your weapons. Um, this isn't ranged weapons, this is also close combat weapons. So something to think little, about as well. Little fists on the they're, go. They're just Man, AP that, minus one. The fluff on top of that, though, is kind of nice, though. Uh, oh, would they, they work with they, the, the ad mech? The ad mech, yeah. recovery of lost knowledge. So yeah. they get the ad mech kind of buffs their call, buffs totally. them up a little bit. Isn't that cool? That's really nice. Take some uh, robot fists. Then you have the 143rd Iodin Dragons. Um, this, they get plus six inches to their rapid fire weapons. Oh, sorry. Um, yep. To add six inches to the range characteristic of rapid fire weapons models with this doctrine are equipped with. So you get 24 inch Hellshot uh, last guns. Yikes. Which is pretty cool. That seems really good. Yep. Then you have the 55th Capic Eagles. Um, they don't suffer the penalty for moving and shooting heavy weapons for their infantry. Um, and then when resolving an attack made by a model with this doctrine that disembarked from a transport, they get plus one to hit. That seems like it's going to be taken by a lot of people. Yeah, I think, this is, I think this is Since, good. Isn't there um, a Vigilist attachment that allows you to... Yeah, the one with all the Valkyries? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. So and you can drop in and do that, which is, which is solid. Um, I think there's some... Yeah, they're, they're really good. And then finally you have the ninth uh, Iotan uh, Gorgones, or Gorgons. Um, so these guys fight with Sisters of Battle, so that's kind of their fluff. Um, and whenever you, as long as you're shooting the closest enemy unit, sixes to hit score an extra hit. That is so good. Like, just with the amount of shots that you get with them, like, that's very powerful. Huh. As long as you're shooting the closest thing. Hold on. I, I mean, like, so these kind of feel like, um, so it replaces your regimental doctrine. So instead, you're no longer... Uh, Stormtrooper in a Catechin thing, you, you're taking this, these, correct? That's what I'm, I'm hearing? Like you're... Well, explain, sorry, I guess I don't understand. So you're not, you're not well. also Catechins uh, plus this? No, or no. This is purely for the right. uh, military Tempestus units. Okay. So, I'm a little disappointed in Jackals, Eagles, Dragons, Eagles, Gorgons. They eagled twice here. Like, <laughs> well, okay. I'm, no, I'm just saying, so let's, it'd be like, uh, There's only so I'm playing... Many. I'm playing uh, Catechins from the 5th Moon, and uh, oh, I'm Catechins from the 6th Moon. They both have two different, slightly different rule sets. You know what I mean? There's only sure. so many animals in the 41st Millennium. <laughs> well, tell, um, tell Big E to stop frying them up and cooking them. I like 55th Capic Eagles combined with Head First. Yes, um, me too. Because when resolving an attack made by a model with his dog in a turn in which it disembarked, you add one to the hit roll. It yeah. doesn't specify shooting or fighting. Correct. Yep. So that's... That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's a nice little combo, yeah. I like the Gorgons myself and the Lambda and Lions. If I had to pick, I like those ones the most. I, think oh, yeah, I like the, the Gorgons. One thing to keep in mind, too, is there are a bunch of ways to also get plus one to hit in this. So um, the Stormtroopers rule is a six plus to hit gives you an extra shot. 
not just a six. So it's not just natural sixes, it's six pluses. So like if you have a ways to combo the plus one to hit, then you can get even, even more shots, which is pretty cool. All right, um, so relics, they give a relic for every single regiment that's specialized in here. Um, so the Scion Jackals get the Hound's Teeth, which is a chain sword, um, plus one strength, minus two AP, two flat damage, and he gets three extra attacks. And if he fights against an Eldara unit, he can reroll the two and roll. So basically, oh, this cool. is the, the Teeth of Terra. But okay. also reroll two With, and rolls yeah. against Eldari. But for somebody that hates Eldar. Right. Yeah, nice. Which is good. Uh, you got fire, but remember to keep in mind this is also on a guard character, not a space <laughs> <character>. <laughs> right, So yeah. it's not quite as good. Um, so you have Fire of Judgment. Um, so this is for the Thetoid Eagles. Um, so the Thetoid Eagles are the ones that are uh, uh, within half range. They get unmodified sixes, get an extra hit. Um, it's a uh, Hotshot Last Pistol that gets replaced, which is uh, Pistol 2. And whenever you hit, you just do a Mortal Wound. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Two shots hitting that you hit, get an extra Mortal Wound. And if you roll sixes, then you get extra Mortal Wounds. Um, I like the Refractor Field Generator. This is probably one of my favorite ones out of there. Uh, this one is, uh, you put it on a unit and they get a 5-up and vulnerable save within 6 inches of him, of your character. Uh, I don't like it that it's models within 6 inches rather than units yeah. within 6 inches. Yeah, that's but fair. It's still, it's still good. Yep. I mean, it's, it's, more, more, it's like, more fair. It's more, more like a, well, no, it's not more fair. It's stupid. No, no, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 sorry. It's, it's one of those things where I, I feel like in, in terms of game balance, Having models instead of whole units. Keep in it. mind that this is also vehicles. And it's not completely within, it's just within. So you can give your Valkyries, your Toroxes, all that stuff. You can give uh, right. 5 plus and vulnerable save. Uh, you have Emperor's Fury for the Iotan Dragons. Um, this is replaces a plasma pistol. Um, ooh. It's, it gets three shots. It's a three shot Yeah, it's a three pistol. shot pistol. Well, a three shot Plasma pistol. Yep, which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, the distraction charges for this is for the cap the Capic Eagles, the guys that get the better disembark. Um, it's uh, when you make an Overwatch attack by a model within three inches of the relic. If the attack scores a hit, uh, they have their charge distance. Uh, that's really powerful. Wow. Um, so you know somebody charging you, you pop this. You just have to hit them with one attack. Mm -hmm. um, so just keep your commander close to a unit that drops in with this. And you're rapid firing with some las guns. Yeah, as long as it's kind of like six. a little bit of a long bomb charge, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, then you have finally the Blessed Bolt Gun. Uh, so this is a uh, bolt gun. You replace it with what is effectively a bolt pistol. Well, it's rapid fire one, so it's a 12 inch range rapid fire weapon. It's so blessed it lost half its range. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe it's, it's maybe they had 24, uh, 25, 25 sisters. 20, yeah, <laughs> instead of 24 sisters playing, praying over it. But it is strength 5, minus 2 AP, 2 damage. And you can snipe characters with it, and if it's a Psyker unit, it becomes damage 3. That's okay. kind of cool. Yeah. All right, and then you have the Warlord traits. Um, so again, you're not getting a specific Warlord trait for, uh, for the Stormtroopers, because that's in the main book. Um, but you do get one for each of these regiments as well. Uh, so the Scion Jackals get a 3-unit redeploy. Which is really, really powerful. And it's redeployed per the mission rules. Um, so, but it has to be the deployment section of the, uh, the deployment section. So they can't, I don't think you can redeploy them in deep strike. Mm -hmm. But you could redeploy them in transports, right. I believe. Then you have uh, Uncompromising Prosecution for the Thetoid Eagles. Um, that just feels, uh, that just feels weird considering that their, their uh, tactical doctrine is that, uh, Count as two models for morale, uh, for every model. The jackals are supposed to be like really tricky, and they're like, uh, then I think they're Eldar hunters too. Actually, I think is what some of the anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just it just it just felt like it would be more beneficial. I haven't we haven't gotten to the Capic Eagles, but like I could see the Eagles who are you know redeploying full vehicles or whatever to uh, get to a different front. You know what I mean? It feels like it would fit better with that. But well, we'll have to get to their thing yeah. and see what they get. Uh, so, uncompromising prosecution. Uh, when you're making an attack with a hotshot last gun, hotshot last pistol, or hotshot volley gun made by a friendly uh, Delta, uh, Thetoid Eagles unit within six inches, unmodified twin rolls are AP minus four. 
pretty good. Or I'm not afraid of rules of six specifically. Sorry. That's RAP minus four. That's pretty good. Anytime pretty you cool. get higher AP, uh, that's always good. Uh, this and is... you get an extra hit for that. Yep. No, it's an extra hit on hit rolls of six. Oh, it's a win rolls off. Yeah. I, I can read. <laughs> um, the stick. So keys to the army for the Landon Lions. This is, again, probably my favorite one. Uh, when their unit is within six inches, you get to reroll to hit rolls of one for ranged weapons with them. So your guy becomes a captain. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's very nice. Because that's not something guard usually get. No. Just reroll ones to or reroll ones. That's pretty strong. Yep. Um, then you have the Iota and Dragons precise targeting. Um, pick an enemy unit within eighteen inches of the Warlord. Uh, whenever you resolve an attack made by a Dragon's unit within six inches of the Warlord, you don't get cover. So you just get to pick a unit and ignore cover on them. Not bad. Um, Capping Eagles get the Voice of Command ability. Uh, within 24 inches, and you can use it from a vehicle, from inside a vehicle. That's very powerful, I think. That lets you get yeah, some really cool reroll to wound rolls. You can do like that, that inside like a Valkyrie, right? Yep. And fly around and have a 24 inch range on your, Off on your ability. Your, yeah. Mm. Yep. Yikes. And then finally, uh, the uh, uh, the Gorgons. Uh, psychic test for enemy psychers within 24 inches, perils on any double. That's really good. That's pretty cool. Not the best one, but man. No, it's yeah. cool. Uh, again, tons of stratagems. We get 14 stratagems for Astro or for the Military of Tempestus. Again, we're getting a ton of new rules for these guys, right? Like, mm -hmm. this is a lot. Um, keep in mind, though, that six of these are regiment-specific, so uh, that's something as well. Uh, so you've got uh, Point Blake Efficiency, uh, or Efficacy. It's really powerful. Uh, so this allows you to pick a Military of Tempestus unit. Um, all of their hotshot last guns, last pistols, and volley guns get plus one strength. That seems good. So they all become strength four, which is very powerful. Or strength five for the in the in the hotshot volley guns, yeah, and those get see. four shots apiece. So that's a lot of shots, at all at AP minus two. Mm -hmm. um, you have unquesting obedience. Uh, select a tempest or prime or commissar model from your army, uh, when, and he lets you auto pass within twelve inches of him. Ooh. Pretty nice for one CP. It's better than the two CP to make somebody auto auto pass. Yep. Or you can do both. Sure. I if mean, you have to. Yeah, if you have to. Um, so precision drop. Uh, this basically, whenever you uh, drop from the using the grav shoot insertion roll from a Valkyrie, you can drop within five inches of the enemy. Which is, I think that's pretty powerful. It, yeah. Well, I mean, unless they have something that stops that screws you from coming in close, and you know. Right? Maybe. Yep. I mean, like, a good, good 12 inches away. I'm coming in five. Nope, good 12. I don't want you this close. <laughs> uh, no, and because five inches you can come in, that's really close. That puts you in rapid fire range for all sorts of stuff. It does And gets you within half range for a lot of the different abilities that they have yeah. to where you get extra shots or extra yes. hits. That's, that plays really well. And Capic Eagle is making that three inch charge because they're disembarking from a transport. Yep. For sure. Well... It's still five inches, so it, it will still be a four inch charge. No, Maybe. it'll be a five inch charge. Ah, uh, do do do. There was always the other thing for the plus two. Never mind. Okay, this is a little strategy. Cut that out too, Dave. <laughs> oh, I don't. Or if you get out of a, if you get out of a chimera. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's the one. You're I guess. coming down five inches away. You're getting plus. Oh, one but you have to drop out of an aeronautic imperialis model. So, so yeah, it has to be a Valkyrie. Man, I'm glad we could work through these uh, yep. issues. No problem, man. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> uh, so will. Hammer Blow is very powerful. Uh, this one, you sh shooting with an Aeronautica Imperialis with a flyer roll. Um, if you destroy one model from the unit, uh, they get pinned, which has any advance or charge rolls made for the pinned unit. And they are minus one to hit from a pinned unit. So this is cool in that if you kill a model from a unit, you get to thunderfire cannon them basically, so you get to you get to tremor shell them, right? And they're and they're going to be minus one to hit. So, question: Yeah, if you are firing an aeronautica imperialis unit with a lot of guns, and you spread those guns out along three or four different squads, can you pin four different squads? Use the stratagem in your shooting phase when a model is destroyed by an attack no. made by them. So I think you get to pick one model. Man. All right. Yeah. Sorry, man. But you can... <laughs> Dang it, but that's okay. So this is cool, especially on something like a Vulture. Mm-hmm. Because the Vulture has 40 Punisher cannon... Four Punisher... Uh, like, 40 Punisher Gatling cannon shots. 
So if you really want to slow down a unit, you can try and kill a model with this. I think it's probably pretty effective. Or maybe like a Valkyrie Vendetta if you need if you want to kill a model for sure because that has six last cannon shots. Well, that's definitely going to kill something. It'll kill something. All right. Um, so this is advanced countermeasures. Use a stratagem for the before the battle. Uh, select one Valkyrie model. Uh, when you declare the model will hover, it doesn't lose hard to hit. Um, and this is not once per game. You can use this as many times as you'd like. So you can make all the Valkyries in your army never lose hard to hit. Which is, if, if, even if they go into hover mode, which is pretty cool. Which combined... Oh, before the battle. Oh, yeah. That with seems... a voice of command going from that transport. Yep. You just fly just around zoom, whatever zoom, direction zoom. you want, and however far you want. And don't have to worry and about... In, and Valkyries in hover mode, I'm pretty sure, also get uh, bonuses to hit. Um, because they have like some kind of like weapon lock or something like that that they get uh, for shooting. Uh, yeah, roving gunship. If it hovers, add one to hit rolls for shooting attacks. Good, sweet, pretty cool. Nice. That's. Um, then nice. you have uh, officer or the tactical <laughs> air control. This is for an it's officer. Good spending a three model. CP. Yeah, yeah, not bad, right? Yeah. It's well, I mean, it's one CP to do it. So yeah, it's yeah, three, three before three, the game. Yeah, three planes. Three, yeah, just like. Whoop. Oh, also, they're just going to start hover mode, and your opponent's like, hee 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 hee, we're going to get, you're not, you're not flying fast. I mean, awesome. no, so you can still be charged, so there's still the danger of stuff like that right. happening. But, but being able to pick where you, and having the move characteristic of 20, Instead and of then minimum 20. And not right. being stuck, yeah. or like having to figure having out your next move. So you can be charged, but remember, you can also charge, right? <laughs> so, this kind of turns them into hell drinks, Right. To where you can fly them into your opponent's deployment zone, like 20 inches, mm -hmm. and then assault with them. Like stuff that's on the oh, line to man. keep them from advancing or moving far or all kinds of stuff like Wait, that. Wait, is, is that how Heldrakes got formed? Like somebody put them in this, the, the advanced counter <laughs> forgot to take them out at the end of the that. heresy, and they just start, they stuck like that? That's very possible. Yeah, yeah don't, don't make that face, it's going to get stuck <laughs> like that. <laughs> all right, so we've got tactical air control. So tactical air control is for an officer of the fleet model. Uh, you pick, uh, uh, when you, so this, this affects both of his abilities, air raid requested or strafing coordinates. Um, you can measure range and visibility from any Militarum Tempestus unit on the battlefield that has a box caster. So if you want to pay the points for a box caster, you can use any of his abilities. In addition, if he uses the air raid ability, he gets plus two to the roll. Now, for his air raid ability, uh, his, what his air raid ability does is it, uh, you roll a dice, and on certain dice results, it does mortal wounds to the enemy, right? So um, if you're adding two to the roll, that gives you a much better chance to do... To do the three flat auto damage, which is very powerful. Um, yeah, let's see here. So strafing coordinates, uh, you pick, uh, let's see here. Pick an enemy unit other than one that can fly within 18 inches. For the duration of the phase, you can reroll to hit rolls of one for friendly Aeronautica Imperialis units that can fly in your list. So your Valkyries, that kind of stuff. So this lets you measure range and line of sight from any from Militarum Tempestus unit. With a box with caster. With a box caster. That's pretty good. I mean... And so for his tactical air control, if you get the plus two on a one, you do nothing. On uh, a two through... Uh, a two through... F a two or three, you do D through mortal wounds. Or on a four plus, you do three flat mortal wounds. And that's one unit, and that's once per game. Yeah. Um, that's kind of cool. I don't know. It makes him a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> real ones is great. Yeah, for sure, one hundred percent. All right, so you got progeny of conflict. Um, this lets you pick an astro, uh, a military tempestus character and give him a warlord trait, even if he's not your warlord. You can only use it once. Per, Very once common, per battle. and you're seeing it. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Just get an extra warlord trait. Mm -hmm. All right, then you've got a uh, killing zone. Uh, killing zone, uh, use the stratagem in your shooting phase after you've shot with a Tempestus Regiment infantry unit in your army. Select an enemy unit that had models destroyed. All uh, Tempestus Regiment infantry against them uh, get plus one to wound. <coughs> That's super good, especially when you only have strength three or strength four hot mm -hmm. shot volley guns. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Um, so now we get into the regiment specific ones, right? All right, so Cappy Eagles. Sean, this, these my are your boys, points, right? My yeah, boys, my yeah. boys. Um, use the stratagem in your shooting phase when a unit is destroyed by an attack 
whipped by a Kappa Eagles unit in your army until your opponent's next shooting phase when resolving an attack made by any models against that unit, subtract one from hit rolls, unless they're the closest visible unit uh, to the enemy arm, to the enemy unit. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's, so kind, it's, of, it's kind, kind of, of the Salamander one a little bit. Sort of, yes. Minus one's ahead of the closest uh, unit. If they're unless they're the closest unit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, is the closest yeah, is visible the closest unit? Visible right. Unit. Okay. Cool. So yeah. it's like, hey, pay attention to us. But if you do, you're going to be minus one to hit. Yeah. <clears throat> so fly, precision drop them in your enemy's face, then pop this after they kill something. Kind of cool. Nice. All right. I like it. Drill the perfection. Uh, this is the Iotan Dragons. <laughs> uh, they get four plus Overwatch. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. A four plus Overwatch? Yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, it's not, not too shabby. I'm a fan of it. You're, you're Said the fan. Iron Hands player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right. All right, um, Elusive Hunters. Uh, this is for the Scion Jackals unit. Um, uh, when they get targeted by an attack, you can pay a CP and make them minus one to hit, as long as they're not within half range. That's cool. That's a good ability. Mm -hmm. not, I mean, not bad. Just makes them harder to kill. Yep. A lot, I'm seeing a lot of that in this book. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, gifts from the Mechanicus. Uh, use a stratagem in the shooting phase uh, when you shoot with a Lambda and Lions unit. Till the end of the phase, when you shoot with a la hot shot last gun, hot shot last pistol, or volley gun, uh, any two wound roll of six does one mortal wound instead of damage. So it's more one mortal wound instead of rolling uh, save. I, I will take a mortal I think that's wound great. over a direct. Yep. I think that's great. Anytime. Yeah. It's almost like a mini Wrath of Mars. Um, you have full charge for the Thetoid Eagles. Uh, so uh, this is for a Torox Prime model specifically until the end of the phase when resolving an attack made by that model with with by against an enemy unit within 12 you can reroll it to hit roll that's cool yeah so if they're close you just get to reroll to hit rolls and then finally we have the ninth uh, uh gorgons um whenever they drop and this is the deep strike drop they can drop within five instead of nine so is there there was another one that allowed you to get with it yeah five, so that's right? the precision drop when you're coming out of a valkyrie so you don't have to take a valkyrie for them they just get to jump right in at five inches. I think that's pretty cool for going for character assassinations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Especially when you have just a bunch of, like, last gun shots. I mean... And the know. Gorgon's ability, too, is if it's the closest unit, they're getting sixes do an extra hit, which is cool. So they're going to get a bunch of extra hits. So that kind of goes over all of the uh, Astro Militarum rules. What do you guys think of them? I, You know what? I like them. Uh, and they felt fluffy, for the most part. Uh, I like the way they fit in there. They're a little fluffy, but they're not they they're not overpowered. But they are giving Astro Militarum a little something. I, I think they're going to see a lot of play. I don't think we're going to see the custom uh, guard regiments nearly as much unless yeah. unless you're that kind of dickhead that specifically you know builds a unit to be able to take out a uh, a fly rent in a fifteen power level you know urban conquest. Um, right, right. Well, when you got to kill that fly rent because your opponent <laughs> he's got to go yeah. because your opponent um, sucks. <laughs> The Tempestus, I, I like it a lot for like the mini book. Um, the way they seem to play is really weird to me. There's you a feel lot like of they're very aggressive. There's a lot of encouragement to be super close. Yeah, um, and to be very Get aggressive right with them, which you know it kind of speaks to how I usually like to play. Um, uh oh. But yeah, it's it's very. There's there's still toughness three guardsmen. Right? Right. They do have a 4 plus save. So they do have a 4 plus save, but a lot of these stratagems are encouraging you to be within 12 or within 5. Um, I think they're going to see a lot of plays, little support detachments, uh, like like Danny was saying about uh, dropping within 5 and then flashlighting just a character blowing to somebody death. Away. Yeah. Um, just having like a little patrol uh, of your like yeah. Tempestus, I think is going to see like a lot of uh, adding in there. I think even a battalion. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not super expensive. No. Like they're pretty cheap. I think they're only like 8 or 9 points a model. But I like that and it pulls away from the standard kind of guard gun line we're seeing of kind right. of tank commanders surrounded by uh, just 70 massed, infantry. Yeah, massed infantry and and then some basilisks and stuff. I think it. I think it gives a lot of different options to, to try to use. And there's there is you know isn't there in Vigilus uh, Defiant a the the uh, aeronautical that includes scions? So you could also combo it up with that, Danny. He asks, hoping for <laughs> for. Um, is, isn't there a, a Vigilist attachment that combos well with Scions? For sure. There's there's one that, that uh, works really well with Scions mounted in Valkyries. Yeah. So um, so there's uh, really cool some really cool stuff comboed with that. 
uh, that lets you get in there really fast and hard. Um, I think they're really great. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that they're definitely a great choice, I would say, for almost any Imperial Army. Mm -hmm. I think they're a good combination with, like, Sisters or Custodes. I think there's yeah, some really it, good combinations there as well. Whereas... Because these give you some really cheap deep-striking oh, yeah. units that hit that punch way above their weight. So but they're fresh. They're yeah, glass cannons, you know. Well, and if you have, like, a, a Sisters horde with, like, some Custodes grab bike back up, and then you have this little sniper unit dropping down five inches from a Warlord. Just, or, like, or, yeah, nuking an or, important yeah, support yeah. character. Yeah, yeah. or I, even that Thunderfire Cannon that's hidden I, back I'm a huge fan corner. of how easy it is to soup them into things that should be souped. Yeah, yeah, you know, for sure. Garden Sisters, you know, there's no penalty right now for that, for, yep. for souping it. So, yeah, I like it a lot. It's It's pretty good. Yep, I definitely give these guys two thumbs up. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited about them. This could definitely, I could see myself playing an army with this stuff in it for sure. I, I could see myself playing around with it and seeing if I like it. Yeah, it, it all would depend on how I feel about painting the models. I mean, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, they could be the best in the game, but if I can't, if I can't get into painting them, it doesn't matter. Paint them purple, it's fine. <laughs> Still have tons of extra stuff on them, and I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. I'm simplistic. Agree. So then, yeah. uh, and so you can see yourself adding some Tempestus in there. For sure. Um, well, what's some of your takeaways from the the Astro Militarum stuff? Like so, the main I think the there. vehicle combinations in there are sick. Like they're very good. Oh, Especially, yeah. I really like that Manticore with the tank ace. I think that's pretty. I think mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Yeah, two of those would be awesome. Man, they would just do a lot of work against enemy tanks. And then you could give another uh, Warlord trait from the special thing. You know. So yeah, I would probably just bring two Manticores to yeah. go to town with it. Just have some fun, because that's a lot of missile shots and a lot of that's a lot of damage. And people that are fans of your hot takes know how you feel about missiles. I love missiles. You guys. love missiles. I love missiles. Um, <laughs> and if you don't know, go back and watch the Tau preview yep, you can, uh, you or can, any uh, other preview where we <laughs> talk about missiles. You can hear me talk about my fascination with with red rockets for like an hour. Anyway, so. Uh, this this is kind of this kind of concludes uh, where we're at with this. I'm really excited about some of this stuff. Again, I, I can't think wait to really see it on the start. table. Have it absolutely destroy my my corn army. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Me too. I can't wait to see it destroy all my chaos or my tyranids. Like it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be a good ass time. Um, so this has been Danny from Danny's Hot Takes, uh, joined again by Dave and John. Uh, if you liked uh, what we put out today, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you liked it even more than that, take a listen to our podcast, Mob Rules. Uh, where yeah. we kind of go over, uh, we're kind of a 40k morning show. We go yeah. over a lot of different topics, all aspects of the hobby. Check out uh, Mob Rules as a competitive podcast for the comedy problems, available wherever podcasts can be found. Um, if you're able to help us continue to produce content, we super appreciate that by subscribing to our Patreon, uh, patreon.com forward slash Mob Rules, where you can gain access to our Discord and connect with us about any of the content we produce, mm -hmm. um, apart from fish. Yep. No, that's all for me. Yeah, that's all for Dave. All right, so I've been Dan. And I've been Dave. I've been John. Thanks for tuning in.